Welcome back to Coding with Qiskit Runtime. I'm your host, Nick Braun. In this video, we'll explore running circuits with Qiskit Runtime. Much of this will be the same as with Qiskit, but with certain specifics abstracted to make your life easier. For example, error suppression and error mitigation options are accessible without the need for user to add these manually. In this way, it is easy to perform apples-to-apples -apples comparisons to see what techniques work for you. Just as important, the measurement of qubits is abstracted. In this video, we'll delve into two primitives which form the basis of runtime. The sampler returns the measurement error mitigated quasi-probabilities that directly correspond to the counts observed from the older backend.run method. And the estimator returns the observable corresponding to a list of operators, where operators are grouped into sets of commuting observables for efficient measurement. The estimator rotates the qubits corresponding to the correct bases for the measurement operators. The sampler and estimator both keep track of the classical and quantum registers corresponding to the physical qubits being used. Let's get coding. First, we'll import the quantum circuit library from Qiskit as usual. From Qiskit import quantum circuit. Then we'll load a few runtime ones. From Qiskit IBM runtime import. These include the Qiskit runtime service as discussed in the previous video. the sampler and estimator primitives, and the environment in which they are called is the session. And we instantiate the Qiskit runtime service. As an example of the sampler, let's create the same bell state we worked with in the previous video. QC equals quantum circuit, two qubits, add a mart on qubit 0, cx between 0 and 1, measure all of them, and we can draw it. There we go. Now we're ready to run the circuit. Let's choose Lagos as our backend. Backend equals service.get backend IBM Lagos. This is where things are a bit different. We will enter the session context in which we can send jobs to our desired backend provided by the runtime service by doing with session service equals service backend equals backend as session lowercase. Then we create a sample instance of the corresponding session. Sampler equals sampler. We then make an API call to the runtime through the sampler primitive with sampler.run, just as previously we did with backend.run. Job equals sampler.run with circuits equals QC. Now we can pull the dot result of our job just as we always have. Job dot result. And we see our quasi distributions as opposed to counts. And similarly, we can plot the quasi-probabilities that have been weighted by the number of shots to take values between 0 and 1, as opposed to the counts. From qiskit.visualization, import plot histogram. Plot histogram job.result. And then we do quasi-dists, as opposed to get counts. We'll take the first of those because we have one experiment. And then we'll convert to the quantum states by switching to binary probabilities. Probabilities. We see evidence of entanglement because we've measured the state 0, 0, and 1, 1 about 50, 50 of the time. But of course not exactly because we ran on a real device with errors. If we want to know which circuit these results correspond to, we can retrieve it with job.inputs. Job.inputs circuits, the first one is 0, dot draw, and PL. And we see the circuit for our bell state. We can also find all kinds of information on the running of the job by inspecting the logs. Print job.logs. That shows how you can use a sampler primitive in a runtime session. Next, we'll do it with the estimator. The estimator measures the expectation 
or average value of a quantity called an observable corresponding to a physical outcome. A simple example could be the measurement of an energy of a molecular configuration. If your quantum state corresponds to the ground state of that molecule, then the expectation energy observable for that state would be the ground state energy itself, which is technically the lowest eigenvalue. A general quantum state, however, corresponds to a superposition of all possible states in some basis, with coefficients corresponding to the probability of observing that state. Hence, a general observable is a weighted average of all the possible outcomes of a measurement, and this is what the estimator calculates. Let's look at an example. As it turns out, my chemist friends gave me an observable for a molecular energy configuration, as well as the onsatz that generates the trial wave functions which forms the circuit we run. From friends, import, retrieve, observable, and onsatz. Then our observable, the quantum circuit which forms our onsatz, and our parameters equal retrieve, observable, and onsatz. The observable is already in qubit form, represented by strings of four poly operators and weighted by the coefficients that yield the average energy of the molecule when enough measurements are made. Note in particular, some strings commute with each other's and others do not, which means some observables can be measured at the same time and others cannot. The estimator will group these into compatible classes known as abelian groups so that as many measurements can be made at the same time. In this way, the details of operator measurement are abstracted from the user and efficiently returns the results seamlessly. The quantum circuit builds a trial wave function from an ansatz, which is a fancy German word for guess. QC dot draw. And then we'll fold it. These are parameterized circuits that have a certain form. This one in particular consisting of three entanglers. My friends already found the optimal values of the parameters by running a VQE algorithm, for example. When put into the onsatz, these parameters yield the smallest expectation of the energy of the molecule. And we can calculate the value of the energy by putting all these into the estimator. With session service equals service, backend equals backend as session. Instantiate the estimator, estimator equals estimator, and run the estimator. Estimator.run circuits equals QC, observables equals obs, and parameter values equal params. Once the job is run, we can retrieve our result in the same way job.result. And our answer is the values, which correspond to the ground state energy of the molecule that we got, with a value of about minus 14.5. We'll come back to this in a future episode. This shows how we can use the estimator primitive in a Qiskit runtime session. In this video, we learned how to use the runtime session context, and then use the sampler primitive to measure the quasi-probabilities of a Bell state, and then we use the estimator primitive to measure the average ground state energy of a molecule. In the next episode, we'll use runtime to do a variational quantum eigensolver. Thanks for watching. See you then.